Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and what you see before you is a lot of EDC. So stick with me as we explore my favorite EDC, or everyday carry, items. Welcome back everybody, thank you for sticking with me, and in today's episode we are going to be going over my everyday carry. Now a lot of things have changed and I've rotated a lot of things out, and what you see before you, and not even all of it's in frame, we're going to get a shot of that real quick, are some of my absolute favorite EDC items that I rotate pretty constantly. There are a few new items that you guys have never seen or I've never really used, and I'm kind of um, putting them into... Um, different situations throughout my everyday life to see how useful or how effective they are if I ever need them and I'm finding out that I feel a lot better or a lot safer having them around. And through the magic of video editing we're gonna uh, cut all this crap away and we're gonna break it, um, each segment down piece by piece and get right to it. Now, generally day to day, this is normally what I keep with me on my person or on my car every single day. Now, at first glance, it looks like a lot of stuff, and well, it kind of is. However, there is a pretty good usefulness for almost every single thing, and I'm going to break it down and explain to you what it is and why I have it. Okay, first up, to watch tells time, it helps me keep track of the calendar days, all that stuff, let me know yeah, what time it is. Now, a lot of people don't even bother with watches anymore because they have their cell phone. Perfect segue. You like what I did there? <laughs> and um, that's my Galaxy S4. haven't upgraded to a new phone yet, but with the OtterBox uh, case, it's been doing a great job for me. I've dropped it God knows how many times, and it just stuck with me really well. All right, next we've got wallets. Now, this is probably one of my favorites. This is a custom wallet from McGregor um, Customs uh, Leather. Um, he does leather wallets. And it's a slim EDC design, but it carries plenty of freaking cards and everything I need. And I can carry enough cash with me every single day, and I'm fine. I just like it because it just fits really well, and it keeps the bulk down big time. Now, as you can see through the little um, smooth sideways <laughs> roll footage, I try a lot of different items out. And I've been trying to find a good stick of chapstick. Now, a lot of people may laugh at me or like, oh, that's not really important. However, it is. Because I've noticed that on really, really hot, dry days here in Texas, cold winter months when I was up north in Indiana, I had a really big problem with um, sheer wind gusts, just hot, dry days, just kind of messed with me a little bit, and I couldn't just go and drink a bottle of water if I wanted, if I was out in the middle of a field working, if I was in the shop kind of just distracted, I was out somewhere. So what I found was, um, it's called Utter Stick. It's Dr. Hess's lip balm. Whoops. This is probably my absolute favorite. Um, it's rated SPF 15, but I don't know why I like it so much, but it works for me very, very well above and beyond like name brands like Chapstick and Beeswax. It just, Carmex, it just works a lot better than all of those in my personal opinion. Now, if you have been a following my channel, like a lot of you have, you will have seen the review on this bad boy and... I couldn't be happier with this um, brand of lighters. This is the Plasmatic X um, lighter. I've been carrying this quite a bit, and I've been rotating it out with the normal Plasmatic lighter. I just have a lot of fun with them, and they're good conversation starters to get people kind of um, interested. And since I'm new to the Texas, again, um, it gives me a good way to kind of segue into like, oh, hey, what do you do? I'm like, by the way, if you should ask. Now, uh, not to harp on that too much. Now, some new items that I started carrying with me um, every single day. Or it's in my vehicle. I mean, it's not always on my person. Uh, sometimes, even though I do wear like cargo shorts and cargo pants pretty regularly, I don't always have room for everything. This is um, basically a waterproof notebook where I can write um, some ideas and thoughts down, especially for my business and my channel. Very useful um, if I need to... Um, leave a note for somebody if I get stranded. It's also very, very good to have. And I also have a pen. Now, I don't, it's not a weatherproof pen or a waterproof pen or anything like that. However, um, I find it to be very useful. And 
since I'm in a fairly dry state, it's not too much of an issue. However, if you're in a situation where you live in an environment where you get a lot more rain than we do, or a lot more snow, I definitely, um, definitely getting an all-weather pen would be a good option. Okay, um, this flashlight is no stranger to my channel whatsoever. It's been in God knows how many videos, but this thing, I decided to anodize it and have some fun. Uh, it's got fingerprints all over it, which is why like, the color isn't popping. But this is the Thrunite T10T, and oh my gosh, I have used and abused this thing so many times, so that's why I got its visual facelift when I anodized it in my electro-anodizing machine. And I love this thing. It's small enough that I can carry it with me every single day, but it's bright enough to illuminate almost anything I need, where if I need to go into the, uh, my car and check anything like oil levels or anything, I have some issues with the vehicle. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Whatever I need it for, it's there, and it's reliable as all hell. Um, well, got a paracord bracelet. A lot of people call it corny, but it's never a bad idea to have extra cordage with you. And I made this one myself. This is a tank tracks design. It's got an emergency whistle on it. So if I get into a situation where um, I feel a little nervous or scared, or I get into a vehicle wreck, and or I get lost out in the middle of nowhere, you know, it doesn't really matter why I have it. It's just a good way to have auditory signaling so people can hear there is a noise being made and you can kind of hopefully track people down and get people to come to your aid and get you out of the situation to which you why you needed to blow the whistle in the first place. Okay, um, this is a pretty nifty thing. A lot of people think it's a Sharpie and it's not. It is far from it. Um, it is a tack marker um, by a company called The Permanent Mark. Uh, they are marketed and designed as emergency glass breakers, so if you got into a vehicular accident, you could break the windows of your vehicle, God forbid you get, you know, dumped into a ditch, your car flips over, you're in the water. Who freaking knows why you would need to use it, but you know what? There's a lot of vehicular accidents every single day, situations that sadly thousands of Americans and people worldwide get into constantly, and it's not a bad idea for me to have it, just in case I need it. Okay. Rings. I wear rings. I like them. I've kind of gotten to the hobby of them. Um, just more fun than anything. It's just it's something I have with me every day, so I figured I'd share it. Um, this one is by a company called Smugworks. Um, yeah, I don't know why their company's named that, but hey, it's all his prerogative. It's all good. Um, he makes really, really fantastic stuff. Uh, this is a silver quarter, uh, State Texas. Um, it's really, really nice. Since I am... In absolutely in love with the state of Texas, I figured, you know, why not have it? Um, I like it. I like supporting a lot of makers and stuff from Instagram. So I have a lot of fun doing that. And this one is one of my personal favorites. This is a new acquisition, actually. This is carbon fiber. It's like moon glow carbon fiber. And it actually glows in the dark uh, blue, which is pretty nifty. You can kind of see a little bit of the blue, but we're in a lighted situation, so it's not going to be so bright. Now, moving on, to not take up too much time. This is my MacGyver multi-tool with a bottle opener, oxygen tank key, hex wrenches, whatnot. But this is a kind of a special um, thing I've been getting into lately is doing um, titanium anodizing and brass and copper patina work. And this one has, yes, the Star Wars Rebel Alliance because in honor of the new movie coming out, The Force Awakens, I figured it was just made sense. And I love Star Wars. I'm a big Star Wars fan. Not all of you are, but hey, not everybody can be perfect. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Don't get all butthurt. Um, so it was a lot of fun for me to do stuff like that. Uh, I have a lot of fun doing some custom work, definitely on my business end on, um, Instagram. Now, moving on to the knives. Yes, the knives, probably the most important, most useful tool they got. Uh, this is the Horizon C by Riate Knives. And, uh, I love this thing. S35VN, uh, stainless steel, titanium handle scales, and yes, I did, um, anodize this myself it looks a lot prettier when I haven't banged this thing up but as you guys can see I've oh I treated this thing like dirt I feel bad but hey I use my knives I don't baby them I mean it's got scuff marks scuff marks everywhere scratches everything um, I'm probably gonna uh, remove the anodizing off of this thing and buff it down sand it and redo it just because I like you know giving my knives a special spot treatment every now and then uh, next on the chopping block <laughs> it's kind of funny because this is the mini Attila um, it's a pocket cleaver design. Um, it's my favorite because of the knife designs that I've got because it's so slim. I mean, look at that. It's tiny. Um, 
it's just over a quarter inch thick, but um, it's really, really sharp, very useful. Um, I catch myself using it a lot. I either just slip it into my pocket or I wear it as a neck knife. Um, it doesn't really weigh me down, doesn't get in the way. After you've carried it, like, you know, when you never wear a necklace, but you started wearing one, you feel it for the first couple of days. After your, you know, your body gets used to the weight, you don't even notice it's there. Now, moving on to the most important stuff. These are my newest acquisitions to my EDC. Now, I don't carry them on me. Holy crap, these are a little bigger than I would like. Um, this is my Anchor Power, um, portable power pack. It's like 13,000 mAh. I keep this in my car. Uh, you can see the battery is being used quite a bit. Um, I go to, I keep it in my glove box, um, packaged up in this container, due to the fact that I want to kind of keep track of it, and make sure that it's staying charged. If uh, I notice that um, I need to charge up my lighter or char emergency charge my phone, like if I'm out somewhere and I don't, I'm not next to my car. I can at least, you know, kind of put it on the table, plug it in with the USB cable, good to go, and I kind of just leave it alone, let it charge up, and I can usually get about six charges out of my lighter and three charges out of my phone before this thing fully dies, which is amazing. Very useful tool to have, especially if you end up in an emergency situation. Having this thing fully charged and with you in your vehicle is just invaluable. I just can't express to you how awesome that is. And lastly, this is what I dubbing my glove box emergency survival kit. It's got a compass, fire starting, fishing, emergency chainsaw, snare wires, uh, duct tape, um, pain management, allergy pills, lots of paracord, sewing needles, glow sticks, everything you can imagine. It's a personally built kilt, uh, kit. Um, I'm going to cut really quick just right now and I'm going to talk about it for a few seconds. Um, I've been developing and building this kit for about over a year. So when you guys don't see me doing videos, I do more than just work and not do videos. I'm actually doing research to try to make a good video. And yes, it does take that kind of time sometimes. But um, in the future, you guys are going to see this um, very soon in a review. Um, I'm very proud of the design I did for this thing. It's in a decently good sized package. A lot of people got into the whole Altoid survival tin, keep it in your pocket survival kit. I did that too. So I can't, you know, I can't really knock them too hard. It was a pretty cool idea. However, if you want to have a more useful kit, you need something a little bit bigger. Uh, it's definitely got some good first aid in it, but I wanted to kind of have a slightly more well-rounded ability. If you get into a situation where you're out in the middle of nowhere and you're with your car, your car breaks down, you want something useful. I know this doesn't seem like you can do a lot, but it can store so much more than Altoid Survival. Can you have a lot more paracord, fire starting options? You can have um, some good pain, like OTC medications in there, um, first aid, a bunch of stuff you can kind of just compromise. You can build your own kit, but I'll get break it down and kind of let you guys get into that video. It's probably going to be the next one I do, but um, that's about it. So. That's what I generally carry with me pretty much every single day. All of it kind of got shoved off to the side of the screen. But um, if there was anything you guys saw or were interested in, like, drop down in the comments below. Let me know, hey, what was that? But what I'm going to do for you is if any of the makers or designers or anybody has a website, I'm definitely going to click a link to um, put the links in the description box below for you guys to check that out. I noticed this video is getting cut along, so I didn't want to um, break it down and make a 45-minute video as to why I carry all these different things and break everything down. You've seen a bunch of it in my um, everyday carry items. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, just drop down in the comments, send me some emails, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, like you guys normally do pretty much every day, which is awesome. I love you guys staying in touch with me. I love answering your guys' questions and helping you out any way I can. Um, after the review comes out on this thing, um, I'm actually probably going to make these things available for sale if someone doesn't want to make them themselves. It's kind of expensive to get started because how you buy this stuff is kind of in a prefab pack, so it's pretty expensive. But um, I'll have a link to my Etsy store um, with all of the contents and everything for that if you guys are interested. Um, it's not going to be very expensive. It's going to be pretty affordable. But um, I'm only going to make a few of them. I'm not going to try to make a living off of this thing. It's just something fun. If you guys want a prefab kit that's very reliable and useful, definitely worth your uh, while checking out. But that's it for now, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm out.